Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. Today, well, we're going to do a little ultralight fishing, two-pound test line, small spinning reel, limber rod, and we're going to be using Canadian night crawlers. In the winter time, when when the water temperature gets in the 40s, bass become very lethargic. That's a big word, but what that means, they become inactive, and they're slow moving, and they feed very little. They don't need to feed. Their metabolism is at, is at its lowest point, and when they do feed, it can be on small, small critters. That's one reason why I love to use Canadian night crawlers. It suits the metabolism of a bass in cold, cold water. Uh, night crawlers move very slow, and to a bass, it looks like it's easy prey, and they'll just gobble them up, folks, in the cold water, which they would ignore a quicker prey item or forage. Something going by real quick, they'll just ignore it when the water temperature is that cold. But a night crawler, like I've mentioned, is a perfect application to catch these bass. There's fish, easing off. Oh, he turned it loose. Let's see if he'll grab it again. Yep, he got it again. Let's give him just a little bit, folks. There he is. Oh, my, my, my. What have we got? Anytime you use night crawlers in the winter, there's no telling as to what will happen. No telling. This is a good fish right here, too. Doggone good fish. This fish is mean. This is a mean son of a gun. And that's why, look how big he is. <laughs> it's a good one. Golly, it's hard to, when you're using two pound line, you better know how to adjust your drag. I don't think this is mean mouth. I think this is just a thoroughbred spotted bass. That's what it is, and it's a big one too. My goodness. My, my, my. I want y'all to look. Golly. That is a giant spotty bass. No wonder I had such a hard time with him. Okay. Look, there's worm dirt all over that rag. Does it matter? No. Why? Well, because we're fishing. We're fishing. Whoa. There's a little bit of rain drizzle getting on the lens, and I apologize for that, folks. It's just, whoops, there went my coffee. It's just that kind of a day today. But I want y'all to look what a spotty bass right there. Two pound line. And I'm going to tell you, that's a lot of fun. When I set the hook into that fish, I knew it was a good fish. No doubt. Let's let him go. You got to revive him a little bit. I tuckered him out. Two pound test line, you have to fight them so long and so hard that when they're tired and give out, they're tired and give out. Here he goes. Now he's getting more energetic. Y'all see that? He'll go now. There he goes. I mean, you have to tire them out. If you don't, they'll pop you lying. And that's just the fun of it. I got a mess in here. It's just been that kind of a day. I got coffee that I got to clean up, all kinds of stuff. But it don't matter. I love it. Do y'all smell what I'm stepping in? I love it. Let's catch another one. You know what, folks, this method right here, fishing, 
never ceases to amaze me of how many fish you can catch and how many different species. But I'm going to go back over this rig again. It's basically just a Carolina rig. And first of all, I'll show you right there is how I got the Nightcrawler hooked. Right there. One time. Very important when you're fishing for bass. Now this is an eight pound test fluorocarbon leader and it's about a foot long. Anywhere from a foot to about 16 inches is my preferred distance. Just my, my opinion, that's the best. Palomar knot, Palomar knot, and Palomar knot. In my opinion, there's no stronger knot than a Palomar knot. But every fisherman has their opinions, folks, and that's why I respect all fishermen. Small barrel swivel, and this is a two gram weight. Two gram weight. Fishing anywhere from between eight and 13, 14, 15 feet is where I call these bass. And with two pound test line, you can get by with that with a two gram weight. It don't take it that long to hit the bottom, not like you would, would think. A matter of fact, one of the things that I tell people to do uh, when they ask me, when it comes to weight, when you're fishing with either artificial or live bait, use as less weight as you possibly can. Okay. Now, the reason why I've been using this leader all day, I have caught, I'm not kidding, probably, probably 20 or more bass on this one leader without 20 or more fish, eight pound test fluorocarbon leader. The reason why I could do that is because the adjustment on my drag right here is adjusted for two pound test line. So it didn't put any uh, stress on my eight pound knots that I tied here for the leader, okay? The only knot that, that I retie and retie often is the two pound test not the two pound test is coming off the reel now that is about as good as you're going to get when it comes to fishing with light line folks there's a fish right there easing off with it folks there we go we got him let's see what we got Oh my goodness. I think we got another good bass right here. Well, I know we do. And I'm glad I retied my knot once again. I'm back up in here in a creek to get away from that old turbulent water. I had to get away from it. That's a good bass. Way back up in here in the back of a creek. I figured, well, if, if that's what we're going to catch today is bass, that's what we're going to catch. I don't have but two, three shell cracker and a bluegill, and that's it. But I'm going to clean them for Mama Sue, and that'd be, you know, her dinner. But here's a good bass. Like I've always said, it's always about having fun, and that's what we're going to do. Now that's what we're going to do. We're going to net that one. Pretty good spotted bass. And I just got through retying my knot, but I'll retie it again. That's a good bass. Let me show this to y'all. Now, this is a lot better environment. It's calm here. Way back up in a creek, you can hear. Listen. You can hear the birds, peaceful. Can't beat it. Let's look at this bass right here. I've been enjoying myself here lately. Uh, using this two pound test line and night, night crawlers. And yeah, I could step up the four pound test line and make it a little bit easier. 
on myself, but I, what the heck. Good little bass. Not near as big as the one that I caught at the dam, but a good fish. Now, that fish was about eight feet deep, right on the drop-off, right here in the back of this creek. Spotty bass. Let's let him go. But that fish right there is going to cause me to have to retie him. I'm going to retie this knot again. Now, I've done caught a lot of fish off of this one leader. Eight pound test fluorocarbon leader. Now, like I mentioned, I have it tied with the Palomar here. Here at the hook. And the only knot that I'm worried about is that two pound test line. Right there, coming off the reel. Retie it and you're good to go. You can just keep catching fish. The reason is is because it don't stress out the leader because it's a lot bigger line. It only stresses out the two pound line. That's a great way to use a little two pound test line and catch a lot of fish. That's a nice little fish right there. And there he goes. Sometimes I don't hook them like that, but sometimes I get lucky. Right there, see how he's hooked? Right there in his mouth. Like that, that is a perfect hook placement. And then see how he's stretched out there? If you want to get a long cast, pop him up against the water, see how he tensed up? It makes him heavier and just lob it right there where the fish are. That's how you cast them. And you can do a fiddle worm the same way. Pop them up against the water. It tenses the worm up and it makes them heavier for some reason. More dense. They're just bowed up and you can get an accurate cast. All right, folks, I'm parallel with the drop right here. Let's make a cast. Right there. We'll let that night crawler sink in about eight feet of water right on the drop. And then we'll start working it back to us real slow. They should be another bass or two right here on this little bluff. Right there. Now I'm in that eight foot zone again. It drops off from eight to 14 really quick. And there's another fish on there, folks. That's another bass. There's some bass relating to this drop. There's no doubt in my mind this is a bass. Now, I don't know how big, but let's go ahead and get a hook in him. There he is. <laughs> there ain't a bad one. They're, they're, none of them's bad when it comes to this light line like this. But that fish, he was off of the drop-off. I mean, he was on out here towards the boat in 13 feet of water. He was on deeper than the first one I caught. For some reason, I'll get it out in a minute. But this is a lot funner. There's not near as much wind. It's quiet back here. It's just beautiful. Listening to these birds, I hope he don't jump. Get give himself a knot. If he jumps up under the boat, he'll get a knot on his head. But you have to work with that drag. I've mentioned that with this little line. When a fish gets close to the boat, that's when I will back off like that. See, what I have to do is completely wear him out before I net him. Can't force him none at all. It's a bass. I uh, see. Yep little large mouth god what a football notice how he just floated up he's well that's because he's give out that little line will give them out look at there beautiful little old fish now i love the fish for bass the conventional conventional ways but when it comes to really having a fun and testing yourself well this is the way to do it right there that's a good fish 
right there. Good little large mouth. Now, I'm going to say it one more time, then I'm not again. What I'll do when I release this fish, I'll retie that knot, put on another night crawler, and, well, try to catch another. Let's let him go. I'm going to let him go on this tight side of the boat right here. way he floated up, I'm going to see if we can't rejuvenate him a little bit. There he goes. Best part of it. Whoa. And that water is cold. I guarantee you. It is winter time and the water is, well, it's cold. Whoa! That's Aberdeen hooks right here. Light wire panfish hook. That's about all I use for night crawler folks. I see it two dollars and forty nine cents for a ten count. That's it. Just a cheap little thin light wire panfish hook is all you need. The reason why I like a, a light wire hook like this is because the, it's easier to penetrate uh, the mouth of a bass or any fish with, with light line. Because you can't, you just can't set the hook hard at all. All you can do is just kind of lean into the fish. What's fun about it is the the initial bite, the boom, and then they move off with it so slowly. And if you tighten up against the fish, which you can with this light action rods and stuff like that, if you'll tighten up against them just a little bit, uh, you can actually feel that they're good whether if it's a good fish or not that's what i'm saying so the anticipation of setting the hook <laughs> just drives me crazy drives me nuts because it don't take long they open their mouth and they'll just inhale the whole bait in quick but i still like to let them move off just a little bit so I can set up and get a proper angle for the set, which is not much of one. I just sort of lean into the fish, you might say, with my drag adjusted just right. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Yeah, he's on it. He ain't been on it long. Let's just let him have it for a little bit. This one's a little more aggressive about moving off for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, we got him, though. Notice how I just lifted up against the fish. There's a lot of bass here just stacked up in this creek. This one is a good one right here. Oh, man. Hold my rod up right here. This is a good one. What I'm going to try to do, this is a little bit better fish, unless he's just mean. But I'm going to get away from here just a little bit and sort of get out in the middle of this creek. But these bass are right on the bottom or very, very close to the bottom. The ones that's on the bottom... They're not going to show. This depth finder is not going to show. Oh, Y'all excuse me. You know, four pound line would be a lot better than this two pound line. It would stress me out a lot less to have four pound line is what I'm saying. <clears throat> but I like two pound line. Look here. Quit. He just mean. That's a good large mouth. It seems like the majority, I pulled up here and I caught a big spot. But it seems like the majority of these fish are large mouth. We about got him whooped right here. Come on in here. That's a pretty large mouth right there. That's a good fish, folks. Good fish.
whether you use two pound line or 20 pound line that right there is a good one Woo. you know folks i don't accept sponsors and things of that nature because the sport of fishing to me is too valuable for that i'm just gonna put it like that look at there what fish but i would like to have some patches with night crawlers on them the picture of an old night crawler maybe wearing a hat and a pair of sunshades because in the winter time these fish get lethargic when the water temperature gets this cold they will eat a night crawler the reason why is because it's slow and they don't have any problem capturing a night crawler and they know what it is and they're going to eat it and it's that it's that simple i don't have to use big words to get the point across not on this channel it's all about catching fish let's let him go there he goes whoa if there was something up there on the bank right now i don't care sat squash or whatever okay i would beach this boat okay wouldn't even bother about tying it off i would run at her the sot squat screaming and hollering i would scare the doggone thing why because i got a drillagens there he is barely a barely I'm moving with it, folks. Okay, watch this. <laughs> oh, man. This is a good one. Every one of them's good ones. This is just a believe it's large mouth a couple of pounds <clears throat> they're not holding on anything specific not at all let's net him right here god why you want a pretty bass my 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 go on back i've done caught i don't know how many of them that size folks it's just amazing to me turkeys turkeys big bunch of turkeys right up here see my bubbles right there I was coming out right here and I looked over to my left and I've seen all kinds of turkeys in here right here in this cove See them up there? If y'all can see them right there, look how many they are. Big old turkeys, too. See them climbing that ridge? Oh, my, 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 my. Bunches of them. That is a bunch of turkeys. You see all kinds of stuff out here on the river. I've seen bobcat, coyote, fox. Well armadillos I've seen it all folks raccoons possums river otters you name it and I've seen it it's just beautiful out here I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all thank y'all for all the great comments everything y'all done for this channel has been truly special no doubt if I had something. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.